Do you want to say hi to everyone? You want to say hi? Say hi. Happy Monday. <laughs> say happy Monday, everyone. <laughs> okay, everybody comes running. Yes, yeah, so whenever I talk baby talk, everybody comes running. My Miggy, don't sniff him there. Don't sniff him. I don't think he appreciates that. Do you appreciate that, Marley? No, I don't think you do. No. All right, guys. It is Monday. I have been uh, up for a while. What time is it? It's almost noon already. Um, I've been tidying up the house. I've been making vet appointments. I had to make um, Mozzie and kitten appointment for Wednesday this week. Mozzie needs um, a couple vaccinations. I had to call and make sure they were okay to get while he was on his steroid, on his medications. Um, and we said, yes, that was fine. Kitten needs a wellness check um, or else they won't give him any more of his flea and heartworm preventative um, until he's seen. So, cause Kitten hasn't been to the vet in quite a while. Um, so he needs to get seen. So Mozzie and Kitten will be going Wednesday. And then I'm also, whoa, my camera's out of focus. Um, I'm also waiting for a call from um, the Animal Surgical Center because Mozzie, like I said, after he's off his steroid, needs to get uh, more blood work done, but I don't know if they want him to come in like right after he's done with his steroid. He's done with it. August 11th, I give him his last uh, steroid. And so I don't know if they want him to come in like the next day or next couple days after that, or if they want him to wait a week or so so that steroid um, gets out of his system and then do his blood work. So I'm waiting on a call back for that. I also have to get some refills on a couple of his medications. <laughs> and then I scheduled myself a hair appointment for an August. Um, so getting all these appointments made this morning and then I've got to go out and let's go see what these other boys are doing. Um, and then I've got to go return a shower curtain I purchased that I don't really care for once I hung it up and, um, get a different one. And what else do I have to do? I want to look for valances for the kitchen. I just want plain old white valances for the kitchen. Um, I looked at my ear and they are either out of them or didn't have any. I just want plain white. So I'm going to go to the um, Christmas tree shops after I go to Meyer to get a, to exchange that shower curtain and see if Christmas tree shops have anything cheap because that's where I bought these gray panels and they were only $5.99 each. You can't really see because they're backlit but I just wanted those cheap panels with the grommets because I wanted the curtains to, I don't want, I didn't want thick ones out here. I wanted them to really squeeze and tight when they're open so I can get as much of the view of outside as possible. I didn't want big bulky curtains. So those worked out perfect. So I think I'm going to go look for uh, the white valances there because that was pretty cheap. $5.99 each. I had to buy six of them. So I got away cheap with, uh, curtains out here so yeah so that's what I'm doing so far today got the house picked up I think I already said that everything's picked up so I think I can go out and go shopping just gotta wait I was hoping they'd call me back pretty quick uh the animal surgical center but maybe the doctor's busy and they're having a hard time asking her the couple questions I had so um I'll probably just have maybe I'll just take my calendar with me in case they call me when I'm out so all right, guys, we'll check back in in a bit. This boy does not want me to get ready for the day. No, he doesn't. He wants attention. Yes, he does. You just want some attention and you want to play. You want to play. And you want some belly scrub, or scrubs, belly scratches. You want some belly scratches, huh? You want some belly scratches, huh? He's so silly. Yes, he's so silly. Yes. He he's a silly puppy. Yes, he is. You're a good baby still. 
Yes. You're still a little baby. <laughs> of course I could get ready. But he's just so cute. He's just so cute that I can't resist giving him some belly rubs. Yes. And he's going to lick me. Lick, lick, lick. <laughs> Yes, I have to uh, tell you guys, <laughs> I'm on my way to do my errands, and I have to tell you what just happened. Um, I fed the boys, and I was letting them outside before I put them in their crates so I could head out and do my errands, and I let the dogs in, and I noticed Milo wasn't coming in. And um, <laughs> so I call for him, and I see him running, and he keeps looking back at his right front leg like something's on him like something's something's going on so yep starting to rain great just great um so i um <laughs> i get him up on the porch and i look at i said let me look at your leg what's going on and there's a big squished earthworm <laughs> stuck on his right shoulder slash leg right in between there Oh my goodness. <laughs> he must have been rolling in the grass. And this earthworm was there. And he smushed it, killed it. And there were worm guts. <laughs> all over his shoulder. Up by his face. By his ear. So before I could leave and go do my errands. I had to give my little bath. <laughs> it was so gross. It was so stinky. Either it was the worm that was stinky. From him smushing it. Or it was whatever he was trying to roll in that was stinky. It was terrible. <laughs> I've had bugs and stuff stuck in their beards. Max had a bug on his nose yesterday when he was in the house. A little beetle-like bug. But I've never had them so far, now it has happened, um, have a worm <laughs> stuck on them from rolling in the grass. They're just like children, let me tell you. It's just like taking care of children. So... <laughs> I had a little bit of a setback of when I could leave. <laughs> that little boy, I swear. All right, off to do my errands. Oh my goodness, guys. I just <laughs> I just left the post office about just a, mi a couple minutes ago, and it, it was downpouring. I had to stand inside the post office for a minute. It's so like, as soon as I got in line, the rain just came. Um, <laughs> And I was talking to um, a guy in the line at the post office, and he said, yeah, it's we're going to have this quick downpour, and then we're going to have a, just a little bit of a break, and we're supposed to get some pretty nasty weather. So I, <laughs> first I thought, I'm just going to hurry up. I'm going to go grab lunch, go home, and then just do my errands later. But it stopped raining, and I'm going to, I thought I hit an umbrella in the car, but I don't. Somebody must have took it out. Um, so I looked at the weather radar on my phone and I think I can hurry up and get all my stuff done before that storm comes. So I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Cause I really don't wanna go home. And cause it looks like a pretty decent sized rainstorm's coming. Um, so I wanna try to get this done and beat it before it comes. So we shall see. We shall see if I can do it guys. You guys, I made it home <laughs> just in time. The wind is, let me see if I can zoom in on this flag back here. Isn't that flag back there? Just blowing. Oh my goodness, I, <laughs> I got in the house, put my stuff away, and I went out, I'm like, I need to go out and clean up the landmines before it starts raining. And I was standing under this tree over here and I heard a cracking noise and I thought, oh my God, a tree branch is gonna break and fall on me. But it didn't, thank goodness, thank goodness. Got the dogs out of there, got in the house. Oh my goodness. I was sitting in the parking lot at Big Lots because I didn't find any valances at the Christmas tree shops or Meyer. So I stopped into Big Lots and checked there. And when I was leaving, I heard on the radio that there was a thunderstorm warning issued for Livingston County, which is south of us. Um, so damaging hails, damaging hail, winds, and all that. So yeah, so I'm glad I'm home. My husband's home too, thank goodness. 
Usually when this stuff happens, my husband is not home. So here's the um, shower curtain I ended up getting. Can't really tell what it looks like on camera, but it's got the grays and kind of a blue color, which is in my bathroom. So that's what I ended up getting. And then I bought a curtain rod for my uh, second bathroom, the smaller bathroom. Um, so I can hang up the two white valances I do have that came with, um, let me turn the light on here. Oops, I turned on the garage light. I'm still getting used to all these light switches. <laughs> I bought these um, tiers here for these doors that have windows on them and they came with a valance each. So I have two white valances from that and I'm gonna hang it in my second bathroom. Hang those in there, so. Yeah, I just want plain white valances, you know? Just plain white like this and I cannot find them. <laughs> and I'm not one that likes to run to a ton of different stores looking for something. I, it, I mean, it's, it's just a specific item, white valance. I need six white valances and I can't find them. <laughs> Yes, I'm complaining. I'm complaining, boys. Yes, I'm complaining. Okay, I've got my tripod out because I'm going to open up a package I got from Isabella uh, from Poland. Um, I was expecting a package from Kathy. She had sent me a message and let me know it was coming. My informed delivery said it was coming. Well, now I guess it's going to be late. I think it's going to be here tomorrow, Kathy. I'm not sure. Excuse my trash right there. <laughs> um, so I wasn't expecting Isabella. So let's open up, open it up and see what she sent. All right, let's see what Isabella sent. This is a nice surprise I wasn't expecting. <laughs> the boys are standing. Let's see, let's show. You wanna see what Isabella sent too? You wanna see what she sent too? Huh? You wanna see? Yeah? You guys want to see? <laughs> okay. Okay, it looks like there is a card, so I'm not going to read this aloud. Let me read it real quick. Oh, that was so sweet, Isabella. Um, I'm gonna read it. Um, there's nothing personal or anything in it. She says, Dear Kim, I'm sending a drawing of Milo's sweet face. I hope it will bring you joy and a smile. I tried to show uh, the unique personality this adorable of this adorable boy. He's already an adult schnauzer, so I thought that this photo would bring you a small gift I thought this picture would be a small gift for his first birthday, Iza. Thank you, I haven't looked at it yet. Remember now, Iza sent drawings of all the other five boys. I'll have to get them, I don't have them hanging yet because I'm planning on repainting all the walls, uh, so I don't have much hanging. But she drew all the other boys' photos and they're beautiful. So let's see here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can already tell it's beautiful. It's got paper on it, but I can already see it. Oh, oh my goodness. It's beautiful. And you did cap capture his personality and his uniqueness perfectly. Look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. I can't wait to get a frame for this and hang it. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to show my husband he's outside. It's gorgeous. I can put him, this one's a little bit bigger than the other ones, so I can frame this one. And then I could put two of the other ones on the side and the other three on the bottom. This is gorgeous, Isabella. You have such a great talent. Let me tell you. You to do such beautiful work. Thank you so, so much. As soon as I get the wall painted where I know I'm gonna put this, as soon as that's painted, I'll show you guys when I hang them. Isn't this just beautiful? Thank you so much. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera and go show my husband because he was dying to see um, what she sent to because she, he knew that, I said, this is the lady who did the wonderful drawings of the other dogs, so he was wondering what she sent to, so I'm gonna go show him. Okay guys, thought I'd close out the video so I can get my video up earlier tonight. I'm just sitting out here relaxing with a couple of the boys. There's Miggy. There's Mozzie down there. There's Max. There's Kitten. And I'm just sitting here wondering, where is this storm <laughs> that I was racing to get all my errands done uh, so I could get home and uh, beat, but it has not shown up yet. It is, it's been about a couple hours <laughs> since I got home. I mean, there's rain, but there's no thunderstorm. There's no big storm, um, unless it's coming later, uh, or it's just totally passing us by. I don't know. So yes, I wanted to tell Isabella that my husband said, your work is beautiful, and he thinks you as well. He, he was absolutely stunned by how gorgeous the work you did. Uh, your picture of Milo, thank you again so much. Um, also wanted to answer a couple of people's questions. They were wondering if Mozzie was going to have to take, let me zoom in on Mozzie. They were wondering if Mozzie's going to have to take medications the rest of his life uh, due to having his gallbladder out and the um, hepatitis he has. And he is, he's going to have to take, I have him here. I grabbed him so I could show you guys. Let me make sure I cover up any personal info. Um, this is one he's going to have to take the rest of his life. Let's see if I can get it to focus. This one here. And this one here. He's going to have to take that one too. Um, the rest of his life. He'll also have to take uh, Denimarin, which is a supplement. Let me go get it. Um... So you can see how it's uh, spelled, in case you're curious. It's up here in my medicine cabinet. I keep my medicine cabinet out here in the kitchen. Let me get that, this right here. He's gonna have to take that too. So those three medications he'll have to take indefinitely. Um, he um, is going back August 20th. They wanted him to be off his steroid for about a week. Um, so I'm, his last pill, his last steroid pill, he'll get August 11th. They wanted him to be off it for about a week. So he's going to go back August 20th um, to get another blood test done. So found that out while I was out and about. Um, so yeah, my camera is not focusing because of these big windows and the light. Let's see. Let me sit back down. There we go. <laughs> so yes. And, um, yeah, so that's about all that's going on today. I talked to my daughter into going to, um, Walmart with me tonight <laughs> to look for white balances. I don't know if I mentioned that I don't like going to Walmart at night by myself because it's not in the greatest part of town and at night you know walmart's always crazier at night so usually i like to go in the morning before everybody's up and about but she said she'll go with me so we're gonna try walmart tonight um maybe target too and if that fails to find some white balances i guess i'll be ordering them on amazon because i already looked down there and i can get them on amazon but it's a little bit more than what I wanted to um, spend. So, all right, guys. I hope everybody had a great Monday. Mondays are always, you know, just so wonderful. <laughs> always wonderful to try to get your week going again, you know. So, hope everybody had a good day. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have some white balances hanging up and I can show you. Hopefully. We shall see. Bye.